Hello, my name is George Chamberlain. I'm with the Center for Responsible Seafood. And I'm here in Calcutta, India, where I'm attending the India International Seafood Show. And we're staying in this beautiful Royal Bengal ITC hotel. And uh, I was out for a walk this morning and I ran into my good friend, Ravi Yalanki of uh, Vaisakhi Biomarine, one of the big integrated shrimp companies here in India. And we've stopped for a tea at this uh, wonderful stand. And uh, Ravi was explaining his talk that he gave yesterday on the rationale and the future of black tiger shrimp farming in India and in Asia. So, Ravi, I wonder if you could just tell us a little bit about what yeah. you're covering. So, see, if uh, you look at Asia today, we be sorted with uh, emerging diseases. I mean, that's one of the major differences between South America and India, you know. I mean, it's not working out for the farmers over here. I mean, we have inflation. Along with that, all these diseases are, are bringing the viability down. You know, so definitely we need to go for several diversification plans in that the species diversification is also going to help us. Because if you look at the black tiger, it is uh, looking to be tolerant for the emerging diseases, be it EHP or white feces. So farmers are able to uh, come up with good crops. I mean, it's working out for them when they switch over to tiger. Already that movement has started, especially uh, around the creeks, you know, all the farms around the the creeks who are using the brackish water, they're able to do well with the uh, black tiger compared to Vaname. And you were telling me that there's some new data showing, you know, factual replicated trials showing that black tiger shrimp have better tolerance of EHP than Vaname do. Yeah. Uh, re re recently, University of Arizona has uh, done a study. Concurrently, uh, uh, they have, uh, you know, uh, uh, stalked uh, black tiger and Vaname with same environment controls and uh, they were doing the feed to belt feeding. I mean, same feeding, same densities and all that. And uh, black tiger was uh, going at a better pace. I mean, uh, the retardation approach is not all that uh, evident in black tiger. So it shows that black tiger is tolerant to ESP. So there's some strong arguments for using endemic species. Do you yep. see any other species that might have potential in Asia? Yeah, we have, we have indicators in India and we have marquenses. They can be domesticated very easily. They're not like black tiger. Domestication of both the species is easy. Every year companies have uh, domesticated them elsewhere. Marquenses in Australia and indicators in Middle East and all that. I think uh, we need to have more species. I think uh, the big the industry is going to shape up in future years uh, with multi species, multi, multiple shrimp species. So, Ravi and I have had a great time walking around and talking about the various issues in the shrimp farming world. And we've also discussed the upcoming shrimp summit in Ho Chi Minh City on July 24th to the 26th as a way to get down into the into the issues, deep into the issues and the solutions, both from a producer and a market perspective? I think it's a very timely uh, summit because the industry is going through a very rough patch and we're not able to understand quite a lot of things. So this meeting is going to help uh, uh, the producers how we can uh, overcome the impediments what we're faced with right now. And the market also would understand uh, what's happening uh, uh, on the field. And uh, uh, for the producers also, they will understand what the market requires uh, exactly. today. Exactly. Well, thank you very much, Robbie. You're it's welcome. It's, a, it's, 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 it's always a <laughs> pleasure of being with you, you know. What an unexpected uh, so, 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 so nice of you, you know. Um, and we could spend quite good time for the last two days in the walking. That too. <laughs>